How's it going everyone? It's been a while since we've done a react video to Dino Charge. Let's get to episode six of Dino Charge, The Tooth Hurts. Oh, this is a cool episode. This is this is the one where we got to uh, train at a uh, track. I, I don't remember if it was like a high school or just like a sports area or something for rugby, which I was really jealous of because I wanted a workout montage episode and I didn't get one. So right now, of course, this is done on second unit with all the stunt team um, being in the suits for the monsters. We are rarely ever in these scenes with them, so it's all shot separately from second unit. They do it to break up the uh, time, like to save time. So they have them shoot their stuff while we shoot our stuff. And then when we fight the monsters, obviously then we all come together usually. But uh, they usually do their lines in Japanese and then they dub it in English because most of the people in the suits are Japanese. So they talk to each other in Japanese. But then when we do a scene with the monster, when we're out of suit, they have to do it in English for us so we know what they're saying. So Riley gets to play some tennis ball shooting at him. They actually had a machine shoot some, but then they animated some in there as well. That was a stunt double for sure from the back, just if you didn't catch it. That could be different. Well. I, was I haven't seen this in so long. So you ready for I think the last Power Ranger episode I saw was the crossover with Beast Morphers when I did the review for that. Going out. I love how the Energems fly to us. Obviously that's special effects, but... Oh, there's the machine again. That's trying a new recipe. Awesome. <laughs> mm, a bit tasteless. A bit tasteless? That was a fun line. Okay, in this scene, back in the back at that table, that's Caitlin, by the way. She is an, uh, one of the background actors. <laughs> that, I think this may have been the first episode she was in. He escaped out the back. You're safe now. I mean, we could use cell phones, I guess, but you know, it's cooler to use dino comps. Out of the flying pan and into the firing zone. I mean, they could keep shooting at him. There you go, good job. So I want to say this is Japanese footage now because the suits are shinier. So whatever he hits decays, that's a pretty powerful move. Escape. He'll rot the entire city. Good looking Red Ranger right there. Oh, I had him. Bickering that's true. Shouldn't bicker in a fight. See me fighting all by myself. So there's no one to get in my way. Both of you, out of here. Man, James is such a good looking dude. Look at that jawline. And that accent. Shoot. And that skateboard. So all this would have been shot in a row. Um, they went ahead and reset the machine. An episode isn't filmed chronologically, is what I mean, so. All the scenes in the base are basically done on a day where we shoot all the scenes in the base. They don't, maybe they'll change his outfit or something, but they don't have us come back and forth to make it Just like this happened at this time, then this time. And remember, Keeper's mouth moves from a puppeteer off the side, like pumping a little airbag, and it moves the mouth. The eyes are digital, though. Nice Jeep. I see no he might have actually dropped into the Jeep. I don't remember. Knowing Yoshi probably did, but I'd have to ask him because I honestly can't remember. Just a mile. That took so many takes for him to spin it. It's actually in like some uh, blooper somewhere online where he kept spinning it awkwardly off of the side. Uh, it's just like, it's a weird shape for a gun or blaster and it's weighted interesting, so if you don't spin it properly, it just like falls away. So it was funny. Normally he's really good at it, but just some days, you know, you like stumble at something you normally can do all the time. Tough, mate. I floss. Yeah. Ooh, what? nice. I think that was a, uh, a raise is the move. It's basically kind of like an inverted, or like an aerial, but instead of going down, you go up chest to the sky. A black ranger. Ah. Nice, Riley. Ah. Riley. Excellent. Excellent. Oh my gosh, the puns. I don't know who has more puns, Power Rangers or Peter Parker. I was gonna say, I thought we showed up. My memory like comes in waves when I rewatch an episode. Where did he just put the sword? Like in a sheath and then just teleported away. I don't know. Magical pocket. Power Rangers charged! I didn't like how I delivered that. Power Rangers charged! I would have been like, Power Rangers charged! I feel like that's like more like of a strength call out. But I get better at it. At least I think I do. But this is only episode six, right? Out of 44. You'll never beat our team because it's about to get wild! <laughs> Japanese footage. Man, the suits must get damaged so much if you think about it. Just like, they have teams of seamstress seamstresses who fix them between episodes, but... Uh, like, I have my own suit now, but 
I'm always afraid to do any kind of stunt stuff in videos because I don't have someone who can fix it for me all the time or a whole team dedicated to it. Because just like anything on the floor, you know, it makes little scuffs on the boots and the shiny suits and stuff like that. Easy to damage them. And the blades are made of foam. They're not metal. I'm sorry. And yes, I crossed my mind to try to put one in my backpack to take home with me somehow, but it would not fit. Plus, it didn't own them. But I thought it'd be cool to have one. I don't even know where to buy one that looks like that, though. Because, like, the toys are way smaller because they're made for kids. I'd have to have a prop maker make that, I guess. So if anyone has, like, a 3D printer and wants to make me a Dino Blade saber thing, by all means. This will be a piece of cake! Rangers! Battle mode! Time for a major tooth extraction! Yeah, see, I like how Dino Charge, how we fight by physically moving. I like that our Zord fights are part CGI and part practical effects. So now it's practical again, people in suits. When it's rushing, obviously, towards him, that was CGI. They do a good mix. Oh, here's the montage, the training montage. So this was when, I mean, I'm still not that great at tumbling. I have a long way to go, but we got to do some handstands and things. There's parts they cut out of this too, but Yoshi does a back, or a side flip over my uh, handstand. And that's actually him, that's actually me. And then I did a round off back tuck, but I kind of messed up. So they cut out my flip part, just the round off is in there. And then we did some stuff up there, I think, too, but they cut it. So yeah, that is the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of The Tooth Hurts. Stay tuned for the next one. And again, thank you so much for everyone who subscribes to the channel. Uh, please share it with your friends and your family and people you don't even know, maybe, but just like share it online or something because that helps us grow the channel even more. Thank you all of the patrons on my Patreon and everyone on my Twitch channel as well. Twitch.tv forward slash Master Mejia. Catch you next time.